Arm um, wraps are the most versatile wraps. In order to give your combos more variety and flavor, these wraps should definitely be examined in depth. If you have not gone through the wrap 101 and the intro to glow stringing tutorial, it is advised that you check those out first. This tutorial will be building upon what you have already learned there. Wrap 101 ended with alternate arm wraps, which is the foundation of combo building. Now we will learn some more intricate arm wraps that you can add into the mix. This is an easy variation and will give you a little bit of practice with getting used to reaching behind your back. Much like Wrap 101, you should try this with just one hand first and don't forget to go slow. Begin with just a simple arm wrap. After it is done wrapping on top of your arm, reach behind you. The string is going to swing upward towards your side and as it scoops downward, it will swing behind you. After it reaches the lowest point of the arc behind you, it will swing back up and you will want it to wrap on the opposite bicep in front of you. And then it will exit in the exact same fashion, just in the reverse direction. Try it with your other hand after you have gotten used to this wrap. And finally, try spinning the other glow stick in front of you while you do this wrap. When you spin a glow stick around, the circle it creates resides in a plane. Imagine standing in front of a wall. All the planes parallel to the wall are called wall planes. And if you swing them on your sides like jump ropes, those are side planes. Alternate arm wraps will be an example of wrapping in the wall plane. Most of the intricate combos you develop will be in the wall plane, because you can reach all your limbs easily and quickly. And since alternate arm wraps are the bread and butter of combo development, the ability to transition smoothly into and out of it also make this important. Let's take the side bicep wraps and modify them to do them in wall plane. These are the side bicep wraps from wrap 101. Now try to do this in wall plane by turning your body while keeping your arms in the same position. Try and practice this one one hand at a time until you are comfortable with both of your hands. Get used to the way your elbows and wrists bend to direct your strings. A good number of the wraps covered in this section will utilize this. As you can see, this makes the development of intricate combos possible by making all of your limbs easily accessible. It is important to be mindful of the planes that you swing in, because keeping within parallel planes is a big part of making your glow stringing smooth. The ultimate goal is to keep swinging within the parallel planes and move your limbs into the path of the swing to create the wraps. For example, if you want to shift your bicep wrap from one arm to the other, try turning your body and pushing the other bicep into the plane. 